Hello everyone and welcome back to another brand new video. Today we have to go over the most recent Pokemon Horizons episode, which was the one focusing on Quaxley. Finally, I've been waiting for this episode. Quaxley has been in the background for so long in the show and finally he's getting his time to shine. I hope it's more than just an episode and he will finally start getting more attention. And so the episode starts out actually surprising me. It starts out with Dot catching Quaxley. I was under the impression she already owned this thing, but I guess it was just her friend and now she officially owns it. So that's fine. That's cool. It's good to get that out of the way. So now it's hers. And anyway, the episode begins, of course, with the all the kids and of course, Freed as well, looking for Liko's pendant because the explorer Spinal still has it. So they had to go get it and find it because they knew he was still in the area and they're just trying to figure out where he is. He's on this boat. It turns out he's near another boat, behind the boat in a car, like he's all over the place and they're just trying to find him. Um, the other Rising Bolt Hackers, we see them like for a few seconds but they really don't do anything in this episode which in my opinion is good because it allows us to focus more on Liko, Roy, and Dot and overall things were great. Basically the kids just split up and run around trying to find Liko's pendant in lots of different ways and the best way they're able to look for it is by using one of the ancient Pokeballs, the one that Arbolivia is in because the Pokeballs and the Pendant react to each other, which I kind of forgot about. So I'm glad that they brought that up because it allowed us to, you know, remember that that happens and is a way for Liko to find the Pendant. And eventually she ends up finding it. And eventually, uh, basically, an entire battle ensues between mainly, for the most part, Dot originally, because Dot is the one who finds the... Well, she doesn't find the Pendant, but she does find, you know, um, Spinos, Behem, and Magneton, and they get into this big battle. And Quaxley shows himself to be pretty strong, like he's taking Electro Balls left and right, even though, you know, he's weak to the move, but he's able to put up a pretty good fight, but he keeps getting attacked because they show that Dot really is not a good battler, she really has no experience with it whatsoever. Meanwhile, you got Freed battling someone on a ship with Cap, and no clue why this was even happening, it seems like it was just some fake out, some dude who they thought might be involved with the Explorers, but he's really not, or whatever, I don't really know what's going on there. But either way, he ends up getting to the main group. And Dot is getting just destroyed by Spinal's Pokemon, but thankfully Liko and Roy show up and they all start battling together and things go a bit better when they start working together. It's mainly Liko and Dot showing a lot of teamwork working together because actually Roy's Pokemon actually end up fighting. Watch Hurl and Foy Coco just get into a um, scuffle because as Foy Coco is trying to attack, um, Watch Hurl just gets in the way and like is flying on his head and going all over the place. So they're just bickering, which is actually interesting because it's going to lead into next week's episode, but I'll get into that a bit later. But long story short, the kids do end up being able to knock out Behem and Magneton, but then Umbreon comes in and they're pretty much overpowered again. But, and also by the way, there's this amazing, like beautiful shot before the battle against Magneton and Behem where like the wind just starts blowing intensely and Liko Roy and Dot just get these super cool poses and it's just really nice. It was just so animated, so funny. Like this was some super intense anime. Just, that's what it reminded me of. It was really funny. But yeah, anyway, so long story short, they do end up, they're not able to defeat Umbreon, but it doesn't matter because Liko ends up kind of like calling out to the Pokemon in the pendant. You know that little turtle Pokemon that we've seen that's in the pendant? Uh, Liko just calls out to it and it shines this super bright light, which causes Spinal to come out of hiding and they're able to get the pendant back from him. Also through the Arbolivia, the Arbolivia comes out of the Pokeball, the giant Arbolivia, and it's just like, Spinal does not want to battle that thing. He's like super shocked and impressed by it, and Umbreon especially does not want anything to do with it, so they're trying to get out of here. So Arbolivia just ends up taking them and just riding them away like it's a boat, and they just make their way back to the airship. So all of that was pretty cool. So overall, pretty great episode of the battle, like pretty much, most of the second half of this episode was that battle and it was really cool and again that wind effect like i said guys you gotta watch this episode because that wind was amazing but anyway so after that the they get back to the airship and liko and dot talk for a bit unfortunately roy wasn't really there involved in the scene but i guess it makes sense because dot has been really the interacting with liko the most time liko's been the one trying to get dot out of her shell so it makes sense that these two would have their bonding moment especially since finally Dot tells Liko that she is Nido thing. This entire time, Liko was thinking she was a fan, but she finally tells her who she is, which is really funny because Liko was just shocked. It's really just funny how Liko just did not know. All the hints were there, and Liko just finally now knows. 
But anyway, so overall, everything was great. The episode did end showing off some new explorers. And okay, by the way, guys, let me tell you, I still do not care about the explorers. You guys know me. I'm really not invested in these, you know, people. But at the end of the episode, they did reveal three new members. And I, listen, the girl, the pink haired girl, I believe her name is Coral. Now, she is cute. I like her design a lot. She, her voice is super cute. She's adorable. Not, not saying that I like this character, but her design, like, she is the one, like, I'm interested in seeing her. But the other ones, I really don't care about. Um, I think the other two names are Onyx and Agate. Like, they still got this whole gemstone, whatever name going on. But I don't really care about the other two, or Spinal, or any of the rest of them. But Coral, with the pink hair, she is cute. I like her design a lot. Like, she, like, that is the kind of vibes I like a lot. So I'm gonna put their pictures on screen, just so you can know who they are. But... That's how the episode ended, showing them off, which again kind of surprised me. I didn't expect them to reveal more explorers out of nowhere. So yeah, this organization, which we knew there were more of them because we'd seen, even when Spinal was first showed off, they showed more of them. So I guess this is the rest of them. Or well, not all of the rest, I don't know, but there's more of them, like clearly. Just like a huge organization. And even now, I still don't think we know what their goal is, aside from taking Legal's Pendant and finding that shiny Rayquaza too. But yeah, they showed them off at the very end, so that was cool. I guess for anyone well for me to see coral that's the only thing i really enjoyed but anyway to wrap things up overall this was a really good episode showing off dot really and quaxley becoming you know official partners and finally really joining up with liko and roy not of course you know becoming protagonist level but just showing off that she might be having more of a presence in the show aside from just sitting in her room and just doing neato thing things so that's cool and you know i really wonder i wonder if now maybe liko and roy might appear in neato thing videos that would be really cute wouldn't it but anyway Finally, to officially end things off here, the episode, the next episode for next week is going to be continuing off from the little bit of the skirmish we saw today with Roy's Watchful and Foy Coco. Next week, we're going to see them training together, working together, and hopefully seeing them form a bit of more of a bond working together. It seems that the issue is that Watchful, I don't know, it gets he's a little bit jealous in that Roy gives so much attention to Foy Coco, maybe he wants some more attention. So Roy's trying to get them to train a battle together. So that really does make up a little bit for Roy not getting too much attention here because he will be getting his own episode, another episode to himself next week. I'm just hoping that he actually gets a lot of screen time and focus like solely on him. Like they really like to, like to take Roy's episodes and they like to make the attention on everyone. Like Roy's episodes to me, it feels like they can never just be his episode. It's always like Liko is also still there and also the Rising Bull Tanglers. Everyone has to get attention in Roy's episodes. But when it's everyone else, they get to have their own time to themselves if you ask me. I'm not trying to sound like I'm complaining. I'm just saying it feels like whenever it's an episode supposed to be about Roy, it's really about everyone else and a bit more focus on Roy than usual because he normally feels like he's barely there which again not trying to not trying to complain I'm just saying I wish they would just do better by Roy but I know CW's episode was mainly about that so I'm not going to complain especially since Quack has got his time to shine so I'm just hoping next week it'll be really really focused on Roy and Watch Rule and Foy Coco and not all the other people so long story short great episode today I really liked it you guys can let me know about what you thought of it in the comments and what you think about, you know, these new explorers, I guess. If you're excited for next week's episode, seeing Watcho and for Coco Train. And overall, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and you continue to have a great day. And I will see you all next time. Thank you!